Welcome to your workout. Get up on your feet and let's begin. Starting with a wonderful warm up to get the oxygen flowing. And today we're gonna do some moderate intensity aerobics. And pretty soon we'll be firming up those legs too. Targeting those thighs. No more jigglies. Are you exercising with me? I hope so. Get off that couch, get out of bed, and do something for yourself today. You'll feel much better when we're done. The hardest part is getting started. That's right, for everybody, even those very fit. That first few minutes really takes effort. But once you get past that, you feel better. That's right. Two more. Let me see those arm muscles. Great, take it back. Back, stretch your arms, open up the chest. Come on, back swim, that's it, backstroke. Swim in that beautiful ocean, that's it. Take it way back. Isn't it beautiful out here at the beach? Feel as though you're right here with me, enjoying this beautiful scenery. That's it, reach it back, really open up the chest. Improve that posture. Sitting up and standing up tall can make you look like you've lost five pounds. Instant slimmer, that's right, think about that. Next time you walk in the room, walk in with confidence. Two more, one, and two. Let's take it forward, swim it forward, that's it. This is a great stretch for the shoulders. Beautiful, good, stretch, stretch, beautiful. Hold it, stretch it, good. You're doing great, feel the wonderful stretch. Last one. Good, and stretch to the side. Side, good. Feeling the sides of the waistline, that's it. Tummy in, keep it tight. Keep it that thin, thin, think in. Good. Two more, one, two, switch sides. Okay, feel it, feel it, feel the stretch. Hold it, hold it. This is a wonderful way to stretch the back. Open up the back, that's it. Great. Smile, we're gonna burn fat today. Oh yes we are. Great. Hold, hold, good. That's it. Beautiful, a little arm action now, circles. No more flabby arms, come on. Lunge side to side, use your thighs. Use your legs, good. Take it down. Let me see those thighs working and the arms at the same time. You're doing it, little arm circles. A great way to warm up the whole body. Get that oxygen flowing. That's it, and crisscross. Come on, chest work. That's it, improve that bus line. We must, we must. Remember that in school? Good, crisscross. Cut that fat right out of your diet. That's it, firm those arms. The chest, the shoulders, good. Give your breast that uplifting look. That's it, good. Two more, good, and shake it out. Shake it down, use your arm muscles. That's it, great, that's it, use it. Okay, take it up, all the way. That's great, take it down. Crisscrossing, crisscrossing, it's great for the chest, good. That's it. Okay, all the way up. Crisscross. All right, take it down. Use your chest, use it. And crisscross, come on, really feel it. Feel it. Work the chest, good. Are you ready for aerobics now? March in place, here we go. Pump it out. March, march. Pick up those knees, pump it out. Okay, do the best you can now. Give it all you've got, this is where it counts. This is where you're gonna burn body fat. Burn those extra calories. That's right. Great. Okay, let's start. We're gonna shuffle to the side. Move it to the side, here we go. Side, 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 good, good. Use your thigh muscles, get on down there. That's it. Your back is straight. You're pumping those arms. Pump those arms, show me those muscles, yes. Come on, you got him, use him. If you rest, you'll rust. So get up here and do this with me. I want you to feel guilty if you haven't done something for yourself today. Come on. It's only a half an hour of fun and fitness. That's right, keep it going. Good. 
Really use your arms. I want them pumping. That's right. Good. That's it. Change your arms now, side to side. That's it. Good, side to side. Shake it. Good. Get those arms up. They burn calories a lot faster. That's right. Making every minute count here. Get it going. Down. Good. Lift. Good. Good. Lift the leg. Good. Bring it up now. Up. Up. Good. Okay. Move it to the side. Good. You got it. Good. Keep it going. Shuffle. Good. Work that body. Good. Burn those calories. Great. Woo. Good. A couple more. Shuffle. Good. Shuffle. That's it. Pick up your feet. Come on. Pick up your feet. That's it. Hold in place. Now shake it. That's it. Shake it. Use those arms. Press them. That's great. Good. Keep it moving. Pump those arms. Low impact aerobics right here. Ready? Point your toe up. Toe up. That's it. Good. We're going to add a little lift to this. This is called plyometrics. A little interval training. That's it. Come on. Give it harder. Give it going. Go. 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 Press. Push off your legs. That's it. Pull. 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 Good. Let me see you. Work those arms. Work the body. That's great. You're doing it. Breathe. A couple more. Two more. Okay, take it easy. Take it easy. Take a breather here. Interval training is like going up and down hills. So this is our break minute. And we're gonna pick up that minute up again and make it hard intensity. This really burns that calories, blast them out. Good. Okay, are you ready? Here you go. Come on, get into it. Pull, pull. Good, blast off. Blast that bat away. Great. Good. Good. Two more. One, two, march it up. Okay, shuffle to the side. Side, side. Use the arms. Great. I'm proud of you. That hard little seconds really gets the heart rate up, gets that metabolism lifted. Work those arms, yes. No more flabby arms here. Sleek, sexy, firm arms. Nice definition. Yes. Woo. And take it easy. Just take it easy now. Good. That's it. Hold it right here. Hold it. Knee lifts. Back is straight. Knee lift. Up. Up. Take it easy now. We're going to pick up this base. Remember the interval training. This is our easy minute. And then we're going to pick up the base. Here we go. 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 Give it all you got. Go. Pick those knees up. Come on. Give it all you got. Pull it. Pull it. No slouching. Pull. Pull. Great. Keep it moving. Knees up. Knees higher. You got it. Smile. We're burning fat now. That's it. You can't stop even through the commercials. If you really want to burn those calories, burn that fat. Knees up. March it out. Keep marching, I'll be right back to get ready for those legs. Welcome back to your daily workout. Today our daily body spot is thighs, working those beautiful legs so we get nice lean legs. Today we're exercising from the beautiful beach here in Paradise Island. So let's begin getting those nice firm tone topped legs. Okay. Your first position is to really lift the leg behind you. This is working the back of your thighs. That's right. No more cellulite back there. We'll get rid of it. All cellulite is is unused muscles. That's right. Undertone. So right now we're going to tone and firm this area right back there. Lift and lower the leg. Squeeze the buttocks as you do that too. This is a great leg exercise. Zero in right back here. Great. 
Back is straight, tummy is in. Use your abs, that's it, pull them in. Use your legs, but not your lower back. That's it. Always think about good posture, that's the key. That's right, good technique and good form. That's it, you'll have beautiful legs, I promise, if you do this with me. Get up and follow along. Couple more. One. And two. Can you hold it now? Balance. Let me see that ballet look. Hold that stretch. Hold it. Hold it. Beautiful. Good. Tummy tight. Tummy tight. Hold. 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 That's it. And release. Now let's work the sides of our legs. Out. Together. Out. Together. This is working those saddlebags that we hate, the outer part of our thighs. Today I'm going to target all the areas of the legs that we really have problems with. The outer thighs, the back of thighs, inner thighs, front of the knee. That's right. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. That's it. Keep your back straight. Is your tummy in? Good. Pull it in. Let the leg do the work and your tummy stay tight and firm. Beautiful. Couple more. Last one. Great. And release. Now focus on the inner thighs. All you do is crisscross in front of you. Good. I like to use the chair for extra balance. It feels as though it's your ballet bar in a sense. That's it. What we're focusing right now is your inner thighs. So as you crisscross your legs, I really want you to focus all of your effort right in the inner leg. That's how we get rid of those jigglies in there. That's right. Do you want to firm up your inner thigh area? Well, this is the way to do it. Really, really feel it. Squeeze your inner thighs. You'll have beautiful legs. You'll feel so happy. That's right. Feel good about yourself. Two more. One. And two. Hold it there. Little lips. The lips, the lips. Notice my, that my inner knee is facing up. That's your goal. That's it, beautiful. Good, two more. One, two, hold it. This is working the inner knees. No more jigglies in your inner thighs near your kneecap. That's it, hold it, hold it. Balance is the key. Hold it, stomach in. Beautiful, put a smile on your face. Your legs will look beautiful. You can do it, I know you can. Okay, take a breather. Let's switch the chair to the other side and work the other leg now. Ready and squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Working the back of your thighs to begin with, right back here where we all have a little extra flap. That's where we have our problems, most of us women. That's right. This will also give the tushy a little lift. That uplift rear end. That leg moving. Good. Is your back straight? Is your tummy in? Think good posture on this exercise. Focus on keeping your abs tight, but don't arch your back, okay? Let the leg do the workout. That's it. Couple more. Always think about good form. That is the answer to making every minute count very effective exercises that concentrate right back here. You can spot train, and that's what we're doing. We're hitting the spot on our thighs. Last one, and we hold it. Beautiful hold, hold it. Come on. Bend the leg that you're on. Hold it. Ballet, come on. Think about good posture. You could do this, everybody can. Hold it, balance, balance. Great, okay, outer thigh work. Lift and lower, lift and lower. We're now targeting the outside of our thighs. That's right. No more saddlebags. That's the area all of us have problems with, right there. I do too. Good. That's it. When I overeat and don't exercise enough, that's where I get it. Good. I had to lose 35 pounds after both babies, so I know what it's like. Keep that leg going. Good. Keep your back straight and your tummy tight. You're doing it. Smile, you'll have nice, trim, slim legs. Lean and fit, and that's the key. Keeping them nice and firm. Good. Shapely legs. 
Good. That's the reason we're doing this, to really help firm and tone the leg. Great. Two more. One. Two. Great. Ready? And crisscross. This is now targeting the inner thighs, the area most of us have problems. And all of us do. You know why? Because it's one of the most underused muscles of the body, the inside of your thigh. Even if you walk or run, you still don't get to zero in on the inner thigh. But this exercise does it for you. Sweep it. Sweep it. That's it. Your back is straight and your tummy's in. Everything is in perfect body alignment. That's it. You're doing great. I'm proud of you. It's worth it. You'll have beautiful legs. I promise you. But you got to do this daily with me, okay? Monday through Friday, and I work on each body spot each day, all of our problem areas, because you can zero in and reshape that area. The legs, the arms, the abs, the buns. Last one, hold it. Little lifts, little lifts. That's it, feel it inside there, feel it, feel it. Beautiful, okay. Come on down now. We're gonna sit for our stretch. Sit down on your chair and just relax. Now what I want you to do is place your foot right there in front of you and feel the stretch in the back of your thighs and now slowly lean forward. Slowly lean forward. Can you feel that stretch? You should feel it in the back of your thighs, part of the hamstrings and buttocks. Stretch it forward. That's it, I can feel that stretch. Yes, feel so good. Stretching the back of your thighs and the buttocks releases a lot of lower back tension. So I want you to do this stretch. Hold forward more. Okay. And release. Bring the leg up. Try to hold it up as high as you can. Sit up nice and tall. Pick up that leg. If it's shaking, that's okay. You can do it. As long as you get a nice stretch in the back of your leg. Hold the stretch. That's it. Always take nice deep breaths when you're stretching. Never hold a breath when you're really getting a good stretch. Good, and release. Beautiful. Bring the other leg across. That's it. Lean slightly forward. And as you lean forward, try to keep this leg parallel to the floor. This is a great lower buttock exercise and a great back of thigh stretch. Hold the stretch. Hold it, hold it. Never bounce a stretch, always hold the stretch till you feel that point of tension. Never pain, just a feeling that, oh gosh, hold it right there and take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Come all the way up. Let me see that good smiling face. Sit nice and tall. Stretch your leg towards you. Hold it up, stomach in, back straight. Think good posture. Perfect body alignment, that's it. Hold that leg up, hold the leg up. Great, and slowly bring it down. A nice cleansing breath. Inhale up and exhale out. Beautiful. One more deep breath for me. Come on. Energy in, oxygen in. Let out any tension or anxiety. Beautiful. And give yourself a big hand. You did it today. I'll be right back. My name is Judy. I'm from Delaware, and I watch you on Lifetime. Oh, great. And I have a question. I have a bad lower back. And when you do the stand up with the chair, yes. uh, sometimes I feel pressure down here and I'm not doing it right apparently. And would you show me? Sure, that's a great exercise for your legs. But I want to make sure you're doing it right because it could hurt your lower back if you're doing it incorrectly. So lean up against the chair with a little uh, weight, just a little weight of your body there. Lift this back leg up and back and let me see. Good. Keep trying it up and down, up and down. Now, right now you want to squeeze the buttock muscles because if your buttock muscles are squeezed, you're not using your lower back, which is good. You don't want to use your lower back. Now lift and lower the leg. So next time you do your leg lifts, make sure your knee is bent that you're standing on and you use the muscle, not the lower back. It's great you worked out with me. I'm so proud of you. I want you to join me on the next daily workout. Have a great day. Bye-bye.